We need to have a conversation about the eShop because we've all collectively dealt with this thing for the last eight years. If you've used a Switch somewhat recently, you probably know already what I'm talking about. Whether it's the questionable content that gets uploaded to it every day or just the fact that it's so insufferably laggy. The eShop runs like me after I down an entire pizza and then try to go jogging in a hundred degree weather. Like it, it's just sluggish. Like there's no way I'm gonna get the job done. So Nintendo, why don't you, why don't you take a seat why don't you pop your little butt right there? And let's talk about your mess. I don't really know where to begin. I don't think the user experience of the Nintendo Switch eShop is good at all. And I'm not talking about the severe lack of music, like what the Wii had. I want to talk about all of the main tabs that Nintendo offers for you to try and filter and find video games on their platform. But I want to start with recent releases, because I don't know about any of you watching this right now, but recent release tab is the only way I find games, because it's the only place that filters games from their release date of today backwards to the history of wherever. You can just scroll down the recent release tab for the entirety of the Nintendo Switch's library. It's actually quite insane. But due to the eShop having no algorithm at all, all like there's literally no algorithm the other tabs are all hand-picked tabs by nintendo to the point where someone like me who frequently buys nintendo games any of these tabs i click on i'll have all of the games on the page i even tried to put this to the test recently on twitch i was live and i just went to the search function and pressed adventure and sure enough all of the games that popped up said purchased I've already bought every single game on this page. Should it not recommend me some things maybe that I haven't already bought? There is no algorithm here for me to find games that I might like on the eShop. There's a reason why I have a whole career on this channel finding games for people and making lists of games worth buying because it's impossible to find games and you need somebody to tell you about them. Back to the recent release tab, the only tab I can actually use because it's the only tab with games I don't have. And if you're like me and you use this tab, you know how sketchy this tab has become recently and more than anything, just useless. Nintendo has absolutely no quality control anymore when it comes to allowing people to upload games to their service. And at this point in the last year of the Switch, we are just dealt with shovelware and I mean, you're looking at it. For the sake of this video not getting age restricted, which might not even be a hurdle I can jump, I'm going to not say the H word or the P word at any point during this. And instead I'll just say Luigi content. So right here, as this is right now, actually, as I'm recording this Friday evening, I didn't even, I didn't even plan this. There's Luigi content smack bang the first thing I see when I open this. And as I scroll down, sure enough, there's more Luigi content right there. Scroll down a couple more pages, more Luigi content right there. I want to stress, I don't have a problem with Luigi content. I don't want to kink shame anyone's Luigi fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if that's what you like, great. My issue is there's no way of filtering out this Luigi content, but I will get there. I've tried. <laughs> I actually counted, and in the 27 most recent releases on the eShop, five of them are Luigi content. So that's 20% out of the last 27 uploads are Luigi content. And moving away from that even, the shovelware that's just being uploaded constantly, I mean, I struggle to look at all of these 27 and not see just shovelware everywhere. But even considerately, I counted nine definitely shovelware games, making out of the last 27 uploads, only 50% of the games are probably even worth a look in, with the best one actually being the Tori's Panic Pack, because these little Tori games, they're only a dollar each, and they're actually pretty good. But everything else, I mean, who's buying Basketball Slam Dunk 2024 with a font that's somehow worse than Comic Sans? I scrolled further down and it's, it doesn't get any better. That's just the most recent 27 releases. But again, if you've used the eShop anytime recently, you'll know every time you open it, there is brand new Luigi content slap bang front and center. Here's Luigi dating stories right next 
next to There's No Dinosaurs 2. I mean, that's clearly a kid's game. Luigi Games Collection, right next to Nintendo's own Monster Hunter Stories, which is also very much a kid's game. Okay, I know right now I'm on a tangent specifically about the Luigi content. I think it reflects a larger issue and a point that I'm going to get to, but while we're here, let's just finish the conversation so we can move past it and talk about filtering content. If it was easy for me to filter this content out, then I wouldn't be here complaining about it because you cannot filter the content out. There is no way of doing it. If you go over to Steam, for example, and you go to the store and you just click on your account name and hit store preferences, right there with two easy clicks on my account, I can filter out any kind of Luigi content I want. And I gotta be honest, I didn't even uncheck these. These came unchecked, which is fine. I, I, I didn't, people have said that Steam has just as bad of an issue with this Luigi content than anywhere else. I actually didn't think Steam had an issue and I found out why when I looked at my preferences, they were checked off by default. I have no idea why, but my experience is made better by having them checked off because when I go to my store, I don't see those. And it's not that I don't, it's not that I'm a prude, you know, it's not that I don't want to see them. It's that there's so many of them that they take up space and I have to scroll further down this extremely laggy service just to hopefully see something that isn't Luigi content or shovelware. And believe me, I wish there was a shovelware option that I could also change off. I would check that immediately and have my eShop and my shopping experience be filtered to literally just good games. That would be the dream. And that's, the point I'm trying to make. So then I thought to myself, well, what if I just made a parental controlled account and turned a filter on for explicit content? Because a lot of people, when I mentioned this on stream, said that I could do that. And while it is a little cumbersome, and I don't really want my work around here to be stop using my main account, make a child's account for myself, and then continue using the eShop through a children's account. I did wanna just see if that at least worked. I don't like the idea of having all 18 plus content filtered out because I am an adult. And if I wanna play a bloody gory game, I wanna be able to see and buy it. But I just wanted to, to test this, right? So I logged into the account on the website. I had to make an extra a kid account for my account. Then I had to add a new user to my Switch and connect the accounts and do the QRs. It was, it took a while, but I eventually got Wood Jr. up and running on this account. And I went straight to the recent release tab. And what did I immediately see? But that same game that just got uploaded, the, the Luigi game. And as I scrolled down, I realized, oh, I am on a child's account that I set their age to be 14 and put age restriction on, and I'm still seeing every game uploaded that has the word Luigi in it. The only difference is if I click on it now, it doesn't rotate pictures anymore of the game and instead says you can't buy it unless your parent or guardian adds in a password which we could get into the morality of if this is better or not for an actual child. Like I don't have a kid, but I can't imagine I'd be very happy if I gave my kid a Nintendo Switch thinking, oh, it's a Nintendo console. They don't even allow, they don't even allow people to do in-game voice chat in their games in case they talk to a stranger. They separated out the 18 plus games from the Nintendo 64 library into their own app. Like Nintendo thinks of my children. Nintendo Nintendo cares about my kids. You know, I, I can trust that whatever they see on there will be happy and healthy and child friendly. And then they get on the eShop and it's just filled with Luigi content where they can just scroll through the pictures without even having to buy it. That's a whole separate morality conversation. But then if I was like, okay, well, I'll make a children's account for my child. Guess what? They can still see the thumbnails. They can still see the word Luigi. They'll probably still have questions about this. And that stuff aside, because I don't have a kid and that doesn't really affect me in my day to day. The whole reason why I tried to do this was to filter out this content so I didn't have to see it while I'm trying to shop. So that it didn't add to the lagginess of my eShop, so that it didn't bog down with another slot of a game I don't wanna see. And hopefully I can cut through the crap and get to the good stuff and it didn't even work. So I jumped through all of those hoops and didn't even get where I wanted to be. And by the way, Bum Simulator is a wild game that I just saw on the screen. Bum Simulator. Okay. 
<clears throat> so I'll put a pin in all of that, Nintendo. I, I want to end that section of this conversation with just please give me filters so I can filter out what I see on my eShop. I can filter out types of games. I can filter out lewd and nudity and Luigi content since there seems to be so much of it here. Just give me filters like Steam has. Why? As a company, Nintendo, do you not make things easier and nicer for your consumers? I swear, this is across the board on all of your products and services that you offer. It's all baseline stuff, and it's all so inconvenient. Now that we've put a pin on that, let's talk about some other issues of the eShop. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier with there being no kind of algorithm or any kind of help whatsoever from a user experience of finding games that you might actually want to play. And the best example of that is just to look at the tabs that were provided by Nintendo to browse the eShop. The first being the search and browse feature. If you're literally looking for a game, you know what game you need, you can just type it in here and that's great. I've already shown you, if you try and search by a genre or by any kind of filter, it's just gonna bring up the most popular games in that category. And chances are, if you haven't already bought them, you've at least seen or heard of them. And it's gonna be the same for everybody. I tested this on my wife Kim's Switch and they were identical storefronts. Even though all Kim plays is Animal Crossing and Dreamlight Valley, <laughs> so two games, and we had the same store. It's not catered to the user's experience. Like, yes, I've heard of Pokemon before. I've heard of Minecraft before. I clearly I have because I have it purchased on my account, which is fine, but if I've clearly already bought it, Maybe there's something else I might be interested in. Why is it so hard to find anything new or relevant on the eShop to me? So then we start going down the other tabs. The first one is featured. The featured tab is, again, just the best sellers. It's always what's newest from Nintendo's first party, maybe a smattering of some third party stuff, but it's always just new releases, best selling stuff. Fortnite is taking up one of the very first slots on this page. I don't know who hasn't heard of Fortnite, but hey, it's featured by Nintendo here. Mostly pre-order stuff too, of things that aren't out yet that are coming up. And then again, just Nintendo's best sellers, like Minecraft has a whole slot here. The Like the best selling game on Switch, which is fine. This is what's featured. It's just this tab never changes. I never even use it. Look at it. I scroll right past it every day. It is essentially just a best sellers tab. So then why is there a best sellers tab? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that just, it seems counterproductive. It's the same thing. This tab is literally, quite literally ranked. And it's I'm it's taking so long to even load this, which is the same page every day. And it took like 30 seconds there. This tab is literally 30 games ranked from best selling to, well, not worst selling because they're all the top 30, but you know what I mean. I kid you not. Every single game that's on the featured tab right now is also in this best sellers tab. The only games on that featured tab that aren't in this best selling tab are upcoming games, games that aren't released yet, the coming soon games. So really at that point, you can look at the featured tab as the coming soon tab. So why is there a coming soon tab? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, this coming soon tab doesn't actually have any of Nintendo's first party coming soon stuff. That's in featured. This is a pile of junk. I ne also never look in the coming soon tab because it's it, I don't even know what you need to do to get in here. I don't know if you pay to get in here. I don't know if Nintendo handpicks this stuff. And I'm not going to crap on all of these games, but I will crap on games like a fake war zone. I don't know. Like there's clearly a lot of shovelware in here, like Auto Empire, Dealer Car Simulator. There's a ton of shovelware. There are some good looking games in here, like this Arranger game. There's another Luigi Luigi content game buried in here too. So from a user experience, I get nothing out of coming soon. I don't really get anything out of bestsellers. I guess it's fun to see what is currently charting. It's more of like a fun visual experiment. From a shopping standpoint, bestselling and coming soon and featured are all pretty useless. Great deals. I, I do kind of like the great deals tab. If I, I mean, it's things that are on sale and they're all condensed to one place. Again, I wish there was an algorithm here. 
that would I would spend so much more money in the great deals tab if it was algorithm based and again not just best selling based because once again all of these are being filtered from best selling and you can see that clearly because the top two great deals I've already purchased it won't even show me what the deal is which sucks I want to know how badly I messed up by buying it at full price it, but even though there are other games in this list that are best sellers that I don't have and they're now on sale like I can look at something like Slime Rancher and say oh 60% off that's great there are so many things I have no interest in and the algorithm has no reason to think that I would like Sim Market or The Escapists or Project Drift I don't play racing games or kart racing games I really wish it would again filter these by games that I would maybe have interest in or games that it hasn't shown me before but rather it keeps showing me the same games that are always on sale that I've passed up a thousand times before all of these issues by the way are not prevalent when you look at a store like Steam. I almost never know what I'm looking at when I go to Steam because it does such a great job at showing me things I haven't seen or I might like. Lies of P, I've actually played that on Xbox, but it makes sense it's showing me that because I've played a lot of Elden Ring on my Steam account. Lost Ark, it looks like it's an MMORPG and it makes sense that it's showing me that right now today because yesterday I downloaded the last or first Descendant or something to try out. Yeah, it's recommending it because it knows I just tried something like that out. I don't know what Lost Ark is. I honestly don't. Now I get to click on it and learn about it and find out about it. Even these special offers, these clearly aren't best-selling Steam games, but they're just some unique games that are on sale that I might like to check out. You look on the left-hand side at Steam's tabs, you have recently viewed, in case there's anything I wanna go back to and reconsider, your tags, so games that I, in the genres that I most likely have interest in, that's really cool. Recommended by friends, by curators, tags, browse a ton of categories right here from the top sellers to the new releases. And even though I'm not interested in a lot of these recent releases, at least it loads. I mean, it just loaded like three 300 games. I mean, it just keeps going and it did that in an instant and there's no lag at all. Why is the eShop so laggy? Is it just because there's so much stuff on there and the server space is so limited? I don't even understand why a basic storefront would be so slow and sluggish. I mean, Steam managed to bring its storefront to the Steam Deck and that runs like a dream and offers everything that the PC version offers. This eShop isn't perfect. It's obviously got the job done, but I don't think I ever ever just browse the eShop outside of the recent releases tab, hoping to see something I haven't seen before, pick up and play and enjoy. Because there is no way that would ever happen. I mean, your own World Champion NES edition released yesterday as I'm filming this, and it's already buried in all of this shovelware and Luigi content. Although to be fair, they probably just find it in the featured tab, which is good for you, Nintendo. <laughs> Not so good for any indie teams or third-party developers that are just trying to put their game out on the eShop and it's instantly buried. I think the eShop has a lot of issues. I've talked about a lot of them today. If you have any solutions for the eShop or workarounds or other things that you dislike, let's talk about it down below. I know you can go online to the website and log in and you can browse the eShop from the website. I've honestly never done it. I would not be surprised if it doesn't literally do the same thing that the eShop does. Switching to adventure is just bringing up all the first party and best selling stuff. And I, I don't think it has all of it either because I'm filtering this from A to Z. And you're telling me there's only five games on eShop that start with A? There needs to be an easier way. <laughs> All right, that's it. You can get up, Nintendo. You gotta sit there anymore. Let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to talk about the issue. I've seen a lot of people complain about the eShop over the years, and I truly think it's in its worst state right now than ever. And I just really hope that Nintendo takes a lot of this criticism when it comes to the Switch 2 and just gives us a better online shopping experience in every way. Okay, bye.